What's going on, y'all? I'm Tam the Vibe, and I'm rocking with DME TV. Be with you. Way too much flex, flex, not enough hustle. hustle. Things are working out. Yeah. I got it off the muscle. Yo. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. Yeah. But now they looking cause they never know what's in the duffel. Damn, what's going on, baby girl? I'm chilling, man. What's going on? How you been done? Chilling, blessed, no this, complaints. This an interview that been in the making for a, a little while now, right? I'm glad you're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Mostly all me, but I'm here now. It's all true, good. True, true. It's all good. <laughs> I seen I seen you shut it down at Taste Lounge the other night, man. What's up with that? I, hey. <laughs> I wish I was there. I missed that one, but my apologies. I will be at the next one. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Matter of fact, a couple people wanted to be there and couldn't be. It's on a Sunday yeah, night, yeah. but yeah, well, that felt good. I appreciate the cool crew, my boy High Rise, everybody for um, putting me on that flyer, letting yeah. me perform. That was my first time performing in a while, but it felt good though. I got the. Uh, Perform like my single that I'ma leave with off my mixtape regardless. So it was all good. It was good. I got a lot of love out there. Shout out um Shay, Lady E, and my whole girl So Fire. All the ladies that was on the um, on the flyer with me. Bet, bet, bet. You screaming some local names? You wanna let the fans know where you from? I'm from Pauly's Island. Where that at? I'm from Pauly's Island, P.I. South Carolina. I'm from uh, Pauly's Island. Uh, I live here in Columbia. I've I've been in Columbia like the past. 10 11 years with Pauly's Island is home, that, that, so yeah, that. I'm screaming all the local names, That's all the local is. names That's for sure. So, for the fans who ain't familiar and, and about to get to know you, let them know some of the projects that you got out and, and, and some of the things that you already got out that they can check out to catch up to speed with. Well, a long time ago, I put out a mixtape called Mood Swings that was like 09, 2010. But here recently, um, since my re emergence into the to hip hop scene, I got um, one video out or two videos out. One in particular um, called Hard Times that was my tribute, um, my, my something to say about police brutality and the protesting that was going on in uh, light of all of the, you know publicized, very publicized uh, killings of young black men and yeah. women. Um, so that's on YouTube. Also, I got a uh, freestyle video out. It's called My Goody Freestyle. It's over that Goody Mob uh, joint. So I'm just out there spitting bars on that one. And then I saw on my SoundCloud, I just got tracks up. But um, what's coming is High Life Volume 1. That's dropping this month. I have no date. But as soon as I put a date on that thing, y'all gonna know because I need everybody to listen for sure. I've been right, working so. all year on it, so. That's what's up. That's what's up. So what's the what's the what's the process like for you when you go in the studio and you and you punching out these songs? Shoot, my process is I'm ready to work. Yeah. Um, I don't have anybody in the studio with me. I'm a loner. Yeah. In real life. So I'm the same way when it comes out to the studio. I like my creati creativity to keep flowing. So I don't have a lot of people around me. If you're not really there to help the process, then I don't, I don't need you around. But I write at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I write at home or just in solitude. And then when I get to the studio, I'm one of those hit record and let me go so we can perfect it. Because I'm yeah. about yeah. detail. True, true, true. Yeah. So, I heard you, you touched on the, that you did a freestyle about like all the police brutality. Yep. A lot of a lot of the a lot of our generation mm -hmm. blind to the fact they don't want to pay attention or they just don't give a fuck. So what's your stance on like how 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 you really feel about all the injustice going on right now in the country? Um, I think cause because I was a history major. Um, I've always been in the history. I've never not had that insight to what was going on, what's been going on. A lot of people are treating this as a, as like it's something new. It's nothing new. It's nothing new under the sun. Anything that they're talking about now has been going on. The reason why it feels new is because of cameras yeah. on phones and social media and the fact that we can put information out there within seconds. But as far as my stance on it goes... We got to start at home. I think that's like anything else. You got to start at home. We got to start raising our young men and women to to be aware of what's going mm -hmm. on and how to move correctly. And it's, and it's said that we got to have conversations like that with kids saying, you know, 
you might run across someone who might put you in a bad situation or want to hurt you or do something to you because of what you look like, not because of who you are as a person. That that's that's a bad situation that we in, but we just gotta educate. Yeah. We gotta educate ourselves and we gotta do better for ourselves as well. Cause sometimes we don't help ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a firm believer in that. Like, yeah, we can do so much finger pointing, but they this and they that and they that, but when are we gonna be like but we ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. We ain't really raised him the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a reason why he jumped off the porch so early and felt like he needed to do X, Y, and Z. I used to work at um Department of Juvenile Justice yeah. at DJJ. I was a CEO. So, from the standpoint of the youth, I keep that in my music. Yeah, yeah. I like trap music. I like trap beats. But when you listen to my music, I'm saying something on it because I know I got to keep their attention yeah, because I yeah. know what's going on on their side. So that's why I say we got to do better on our side as well. So that's that's yeah. how I feel about, you know, anything regarding race. True, that's what's up. Yeah. So what, what, as an artist, what type of artist would you classify yourself as? Because I, I asked the question to somebody the other day about being from the South, being from an area was drug ridden and all that. Normally, most people who rap lean toward being like a trap rapper or something in that genre. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You say you like the trap beats, you like the trap sound, but you rap completely Definitely. different. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, I grew up in the 90s. I won't give my age away, but <laughs> I ain't no spring chicken. I ain't old or nothing like that, but you know what I'm saying? But I've been around, so I came up in the 90s, so my heroes are, for real, Jay-Z, your Nas, your, you know what I'm saying? Like, the lyricists, the people who are saying something like, the dudes in the South that I respect the most are our story tell our storytellers, like our Boosies, our T.I.s. Well, before our, you give away any names. Mm-hmm. We started something new okay. that we're doing with these questions and stuff. All right. And I'm asking every artist, they top fives, but I'm doing it in different categories. You got your United States top five. That's all the states. Ooh. East Coast, West Coast, wherever. Ooh. Then we got a down south region. Ye. Then we got a South Carolina region. Oh, man. I want to push the issue. I want, I want people to know about all the artists in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. That they don't know about, that they should know about. So, hopefully by the end of next year, we we can have like a the top five biggest artists in South. You know, like. All right. So since we talking about art, so let's go top five South Carolina artists first. You want to do that first? Let's do that first because uh-huh. I want to make sure that's like fresh on my head. I got you. Because sometimes you feel, like you listen to so much of it, you forget. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a name that everybody at home been saying. But if I think it's because I known him since he was a little kid. Mm-hmm. He my uh my cousin's best friend. Yeah. Ace Cartel. Fact. That's somebody that is a reason why people believe him. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave it just yeah. like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's a reason why I love what he do. You know what I'm saying? It's a reason why people go crazy at home because of the things he's saying. So yeah. I'm gonna say Ace Cartel. Somebody who's up and coming. Um Who's actually basically Ace Cartel brother that y'all haven't heard yet, but when y'all hear him, blow your mind. Young Juke, his first um project, I think he's gonna call it genocide. So that's gonna come. Okay. Um here in Colombia, I'm gonna put them together because they are like a team. They're like the um Beyonce Jay-Z of Colombia. Okay. Um Kenzo DeLorean and Jasmine Phoenix. Okay. They they are a couple, but they it rap individually. Yeah. They have their own individual projects and shit like that. Okay. When I say I would get in the booth with Jasmine, Fe- I don't even like a lot of female rappers. Yeah. But I get in the booth with Jasmine. I feel Cause she she spits like she yeah. she about the lyrics. She want to sit sit at the table like me. Gotcha. And then her um her dude Kenzo Kenzo just. Ever since I met Kenzo, he just been on another wave. Um, he he's a, a he's, I love that dude, I man. He just on a that. different wave. We haven't gotten to work together yet, but that's yeah. gonna change real soon. As soon as I get my first thing out the way and jump out there, so I can get out get out there with y'all. I'm working with the both of them, so that's, uh, that's right, my right. three. Um, 
You know who I'm excited about? I want Sosa to drop his stuff so bad. Sosa. Yeah. Yeah. I want him to drop his stuff so bad. And I think what made me... I was always excited watching him when he be on his Facebook Live yeah, freestyling yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But like actually getting to see him in shape or form the other night at Taste. Yeah. That's what made me hype. I got this video. Uh, Sosa um, definitely got it. Bruh. He definitely got it. Bruh. And I, and I think I'm excited about him because, again, these are people I grew up with. Shay yeah. and Sosa. And, um, you know, so I'm excited when we get to win, when we can win. You know what I'm true, saying? True. So I'm excited for Sosa to drop. And I'm going to say this name. And it's not out of favoritism. And it's because I know she got all the talent in the world. Like, she got... More talent in her pinky finger than I do in my whole body. So Man. fire. So fire. So fire. That's my dog. For life. I'm forever. I'm hearing that name. So fire you need to reach out to her. Bruh. So listen. that name. She sings. She acts. She she yeah. do everything. She write these songs. Her voice is everything. She needs to drop her project. Yeah. I'm saying that on camera. Fact. Don't Fact. cut that out. <laughs> Don't cut that out. So that's our South Carolina region. Those my five. Let's open up a little bit and, and, and take the whole South region. Give me a five out of this side. Side how the Prince. I gotta see him first just because of that album he just dropped. I've always been a side high print fan. Um That song No Dope on Sunday, definitely. Yeah, you gotta listen to the whole album, bro. Like I knew he had that in him, but I think anybody who's who's like his fans who follow him from the very yeah. beginning, we just kind of got tired of waiting on him to okay. drop the damn album. But he dropped it; it's definitely worth the wait. So sci high because his lyrical ability, he fits in those categories: those Jay Z's, the Nas, the Kendrick Lamar, the J Cole. He spits on that level. Those are people that I respect. Um, Boosie. <laughs> forever be because Boosie's a storyteller yeah. like um his new album about to come out Boo Pop and people get on him because you know everybody gonna get on everybody when they take something from yeah. Tupac Biggie and all that stuff like but as far as storytelling and saying something people relate to I see him why yeah. he doing that facts, facts. I agree with that because he does that to me um so um, 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 um Ti Ti is one of my favorites because and he will be like one of my top five when we go. His cadence is everything to me. Like yeah. when when Ti rap, like it's almost like he get on like a horse and ride the horse. Like I see him do that because his. You know, like one of my favorite songs is on um, Urban Legend, and he was like, I can give you what you want, T.I.P. the hottest, the game what you need, I can tell you all about it. Yeah, like, he definitely got a control. Yeah, he, he put that like, bounce on it, you know what I'm saying? He'll make yeah. you pay attention. So, tip one, and he got bars too. I won't put him as like a lyrical somebody, but he just, yeah. delivery mean a lot to me. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's the difference between the success of Jay-Z and Nas, I guess. delivery. Uh, so those three, um, two chains. Teddy Boy. Oh, biggest two chains fan. <laughs> I love chains. Swag, just yeah. swag, swag. And if you really listen to chains, like if you really listen to chains, he, he, he definitely can go over your head real fast. Real fast. For real, like people don't listen, like, cause I think because he's such a swag and you know what I'm saying kind of in the club type yeah I, I don't think people take the time to give him that but if you really like dig into a couple of his projects you'll see yeah. like change to sit he can get in the booth about anybody too facts, really? facts, facts. um that four five um I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my fifth one, and I'm gonna give it to somebody who's new. NBA young boy. NBA young boy. I like young boy. I'm rooting for young boy, and maybe it, part of it is because I think he is the young one. Um, because I believe him. Yeah. Um. From the time I started listening to him, the project right before that 38 Baby project, mm 
yeah. that dropped that made him. I see the progression. Cause I, so I know he's getting better. Yeah, and I hear yeah. it from like every project. I got you. I think he really got potential to be like one of them dudes that's going to be around for a while. He ain't like these other like all these other little this and little that and little. Yeah, yeah. Like you know like the Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Like yeah, that dude yeah. say that. Yeah, but he ain't say nothing. But just a hit. Yeah. You know, like yeah, I was watching yeah, Jay, yeah. I was watching, yeah, yeah. I was watching Jay Z talk about it. Jay Z was talking about that white hot light. Yeah. Everybody want to be that white hot light, that fad. But Jay Z said about himself, "But I could play. Yeah, I'm gonna play forever." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like he's play. one of them dudes. Yeah. Like I don't know if he gonna play forever, but out of the young, the new guys coming, yeah. he gonna be around way longer than them dudes. Right, right. So those are my five. So. so now let's take this thing on the on a, on a, on the United States scale. North, South, East, West. It don't matter. Which way you go? Well, I know it's generic. I know everybody's there, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. going to get it out the way. It's Jay-Z. Um, you can't deny his growth. Like, that's a, that's, a, that's an artist I feel like uh, the reason why his fan base is the way it's because we grew up with him. Like, he was a grown ass man when he put out his first album. What, <laughs> 25? 20, he wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't no teenager. And that. Like, he was a grown ass man. But even him being a grown ass man to where he is now, we watched him. Yeah, yeah. Drug deal, drug deal, drug deal. Drug deal, I got a little bit of money. You know, I got money, drug deal, and now I'm getting. Money with yeah. the music, and now I'm the greatest. And okay, now I'm in love, and now I'm a businessman, yeah, and yeah. now I appreciate art. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. stuff like that. Like I appreciate that because he's always told his truth throughout, no matter what. Especially with this last project. Gotcha. Um, um, I'm gonna have to go. Give it, put Kendrick in my top five already. Yeah. Even though he ain't been around all that long, um, that just, just is what it is. Like, dude, just what can you say? What can you not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So Kendrick, um, <laughs> I wanna, I really, I'm really searching for. I'll be real with you. I really want to put a female in my top five, but I haven't decided yeah. yet. I'll be real. I haven't had that many f females that I've heard that like just push my weight back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, um, so if not them, then I'm going to have to go. So we go T.I. again. Like I said, I told you I was going to put throw him in my, um, my top five. Um, somebody I've been listening to forever. I don't, I don't know. And it seemed like I would know that on like a. Mm -hmm. But it's so, it's so many. It's a lot, especially when you've been listening to rap since like '90s, the early '90s. And really, really listening to it since like 97, 98. I don't know. I might have to get back to you on that one. I just, might. Just give me two names. Two names. Two names. Just two. It can be with no thought. Well. Alright. So, I'm going to toss this one in the hat for the future. Maybe she'll jump in my top five. And you're going to look at me real crazy. I'm going to say Cardi B. <laughs> I'm jumping down with Cardi B. She, she definitely popping right now. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, if you dig in, if you go back, it was to a couple. She got two mixtapes. She, yeah, she been. And she spits for I real. Heard, I heard about Cardi B like two years ago. Like before that, bow that yellow blew yeah. up the way it did. That um, walk and lick joint. She had the, yeah. she got that single, that walk and lick single that was in the club. Yeah, it was growing yeah, slow, yeah, yeah. but I heard it like people just listening to it and stuff like that. It's just Bo that yellow took over real yeah. fast. Um, what am I thinking? I'm put Cole up there too. Cole. I have I have to one because he's from the Carolinas. Two because I was 
die hard from the very beginning. Like when he rapped on that Jay Z album, I can't remember which one it was, but we he spit that verse on that Jay Z yeah. song, and he said something about Vietnam, and that that perked my ears up. I was like, who the hell is talking yeah, about yeah. some Vietnam? Cause that's Fed Bill, that's up the street. Yeah. And then when I went and found him on that pit for whatever the hell that was, it was a rap from there. Yeah. That was a rap from there. You know, so. so real quick, out of all the names you made, if you can make a song today with any one of those artists, which one would it be? Cardi B. Cardi B? Yep. And the only reason I say Cardi B is not because she hot right now, I, I honestly just think it'd be fun. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. And I think that... She has a lyrical ability. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like and I know that she clever because when she had hit that on and I just checked my account, turn out I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I put my hand above my hip and then I bet she dip, he dip, she dip. Yeah. When I caught that, I'm like, oh she clever as shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like it'd be it'd be something I feel like I could bring her into my space. You know what I'm saying? Like how I say I jump on a trap beat, yeah. make a fun hook, but in my verses I'm talking to you. I think I could bring her into that. Like I think she, and I think she would really say something because she been through so much. Way too much flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle, but now they looking 'cause they never know what's in the dust.